All right. I already started this, and then I got a phone call, so I figured I'd just go ahead and pick up where I left off. Let me just show you where we're starting here. We're doing number six. Uh, normally, you see this is a big mess here. I, can, I understand that part. Uh, negative cosine 2x plus pi over 2. What you'll want to do first, so forget about all this stuff here. What you want to do first is just factor out the 2. Okay, uh, The 2 coming out means that you're going to leave in parentheses x plus pi over 4. Okay, well, if you factor out a 2 from a pi over 2, you're going to get pi over 4. If you just multiply it back out, 2 times x is 2x. 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. Okay, so that should make sense if you look at that. Pause the video if that doesn't. But the reason I do this is because I get to avoid all this big ugly mess where you learn in the book and you go, okay, there's a b and there's a c over b, and then you just get all confused. Okay, so the easiest way to graph these functions is just make sure that you have a, uh, a 1 in front of the x by factoring out whatever's in front of the x. And that, again, is still our b. Okay, and then the phase shift, meaning just where do you shift the graph, is just when it's a plus sign, we know we go to the left, and it's that number right there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph y equals negative cosine 2x. And we know how to do that. Okay, so let's uh, leave ourselves a lot of room here. And the first thing we do, remember, is find the period. The period is 2 pi divided by that number right there, divided by 2, so it's pi. So we're going to go right out here, pi radians, and we're going to plot that point right there. Plot that x coordinate. And then we divide that in 2, we get pi over 2. We divide that number in 2, and we get pi over 4. And then again, we want to find out what's halfway between pi over 2 and pi, and that's 3 pi over 4. Okay? That's 3 pi over 4. Well, just like you learned before, you learned that you've got your full period here of, of pi radians, and you need five key points. You pick your x coordinates for each of these points pi over 4, pi over 2. Uh, 3 pi over 4, and then pi. And again, just to reiterate, we're not initially shifting it to the left. We're going to graph this function right here, negative cosine 2x. Okay. When we replace x in this function by with 0, we get negative cosine of 0. And cosine of 0 is 1, so we get negative 1. So we get 0, negative 1. See that the amplitude takes care of itself. There's negative 1 right there. And we're going to plot a point. And what color should I use? Let's use the purple again. So that's our initial point, 0, negative 1. When we replace x with pi over 4, we get negative cosine of 2 pi over 4. Well, we know that 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2. And we know cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So we get 0. So we get pi over 4, 0, and that would be that point right there. What well, we should already know what this is going to do. It's going to come up, it's going to go down, and it's going to come back over here. So at pi over 2, when we plug that in, we get negative cosine of pi, right? 2 pi over 2. And cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get a negative negative 1, which is just 1. Okay? And so we get pi over 2 comma 1. There's our 1. And then 3 pi over 4, when we replace x with 3 pi over 4, you can check this. You're going to get 0. And then when you replace x with pi, you get cosine, negative cosine 2 pi, and you get negative 1 again. So we're back down to negative 1. And just like in our last video, we'll do the dotted graph for the unfinished version of this. Dotted graph never looks as good. So there's our negative cosine of 2x. And then remember what we said, we're going to shift this graph to the left, pi over 4 radians. So all you have to do is subtract pi over 4 radians from each of these x values. And it's already, it's already done for us. They're already, it's already divided in pi over 4 radians. And so all we have to do is go back to negative pi over 4. And that's going to be right there. And we do that one in blue, right? So the finished product we're going to do in blue. 
So this point moves to the left, pi over 4. This point moves to the left, pi over 4. And this is an easier one because, again, it's already set up for us. This point here moves to the left. This point here moves to the left. And we have one full period of this cosine function. And that right there is y equals negative cosine of 2x plus pi over 2. And that's how you do number 6. Okay, this is number 6. That's your end result right there. You could keep going if you'd like to, be my guest, but there you go. One more video for the last one, and that'll be it.